What's up guys, Kevin here, back with another video. I'm just doing a quick video talking about uh, the newest pair of Jown Sambas that just came out. If you guys haven't watched before, I did a review of the black and white pair, both of those were made in Germany. Um, uh, and this pair is the Mesa pair. Uh, this one is not made in Germany or not finished in Germany, I should say. Uh, this was almost like a collaboration with Jose Mourinho, who is a very, very influential uh, like football manager and football player. Um, he's managed a lot of different teams throughout the years. He has a very storied history. So I think this really tapped into Jown's almost uh, like heritage, laid back sort of coolness uh, factor of it. Um, and it was just like, I think the marketing of the shoe is really, really good. I think it was very well done. Um, I think the shoe itself is okay, but um, the release of it was also relatively confusing and controversial, but I'll talk about that uh, later in the video. Uh, the shoe released, I believe, the week of the 23rd or so. I'll put it somewhere over here. I don't remember. Um, but it released then. So the previous two pairs were only available on the Confirmed app as well as Jown's website. Uh, the black pair was also a Jown.com exclusive. For this one, it had a much wider release, but the prices were a bit weird. So the retail, the actual retail that Adidas had was $160 while some retailers were selling it for 250, but also Jown themselves and a few other retailers were selling it at 200. Um, the pricing was kind of like all over the board. I scored these on the Adidas confirmed app via early access um, and they delivered it within 24 hours, which I thought was interesting, but enough of me talking, let's talk about the shoes. So the shoes come in the same Adidas blue originals box. Here's the tag. So, comes in the originals box. Very plain, very utilitarian. Comes in a jound paper. And each shoe is individually wrapped. Let me just bring out one of the pairs. And here they are the jound Adidas Samba Mesa colorway. So this was actually leaked with the previous release pair. Um, a few details were different on that leaked pair. The leaked pair had John branding on the heel of it, as well as the shade was a little bit different. Um, so again, like the first release, it comes with a thicker cotton lace that's laced up already, as well as a vintage uh, poly mix lace. Uh, as their secondary pair. Both very tonal with the shoe itself. The shoe is an all kind of flooded out, uh, this this like Mesa colorway, which is supposed to be, I guess, a light brown. So all these shades of brown are very interesting with the gum bottom as well. Uh, the build of the shoe is very similar to the OG that just released. So here is my worn pair of the Made in Germany's. So the shoe itself is pretty similar, pretty much exact, except obviously the materials are different. Let me double check. So this is an eight and a half. I got this in an eight. There's some slight variations in terms of like size of the shoe itself. Like the, if you look at the back heel, slight differences and the heel length as well as the width. I can't tell if that's because I wore my white pair quite frequently or not. Um, another difference is that the inner lining of the Made in Germany pairs features a really soft leather. Uh, while this pair, let me set this down, this pair, it contains a faux leather, which I think is like doable. It's, it's doable. It's not as soft, I would say. Uh, the suede is, pretty nice it's pretty fuzzy it's pretty nappy um, it almost gives me like a teddy bear sort of vibe it's very very fuzzy I would say um, the insoles look almost identical except without that made in Germany sticker yeah the insoles are pretty much the same so it's a faux leather top with sort of like arch support 
So if I remember correctly, the Made in Germany's uh, retailed for two fifty, and I think that's why some retailers set their price at two fifty. But in actuality, this is just plain made, finished in Vietnam, like everything. Uh, so this should be cheaper. But yeah, for a hundred and sixty dollars, what do you guys think? Uh, the three stripes also has that same sort of tonal like material. Uh, the suede isn't as fuzzy, I would say. Um, on the three stripes that Jan branding right there Let me zoom in so you guys can kind of see like the details of the suede So there's some that are a uh, flatter new buck like this ankle area and the three stripes while well, the majority of it is this very very fuzzy suede I think my favorite detail of this release was probably the tongue. The tongue is a short tongue with those sort of athletic uh, ribs there. Um, I think on the leather uh, versions, the black and the white that I have, I think those ones wear nicer, but this one also is not bad as well. I like the variation in materials because sometimes I do wish that they used some suede like elsewhere on the upper except for just like the toe area the toe area is a very very short like almost new buck which is actually kind of similar to the ankle here is both of them feel pretty similar let me check my black pair yeah so for these samples this white pair wasn't even in the samples it was just these two except obviously like earlier renditions of them with a heat almost heat stamped uh jound in the back uh, but Interesting to see both of them released um, Personally, so if I were to rank the materials, I like the white Samba on top in terms of materials uh, The black Samba is okay, but for some reason the white Samba the leather just feels more Tumbled more broken in straight out the box the black Samba. It's not bad But it just doesn't feel as broken in as the white um, I would say it's it's kind of split between the black and the um, the Mesa colorway or the maze colorway um, But this one just kind of gives a different sort of vibe these two are very like Basic everyday like if you know, you know, but like this one I think gives off like that sort of like vibe this and like a pair of like linen trousers for the summer I think will be a hit um, I think a lot of people really like these um, they're sitting actually interestingly at some sites so you guys might be able to get uh, your pairs um, you know for retail or maybe even under retail if they sit long enough I know a lot of uh, stuff that has been releasing has been sitting more often so you can get even decent collabs for under retail so again what do you guys think of this mace or mesa colorway do you guys like it? I really liked the marketing. Um, I think it gave the shoe an extra like, bam, like this is like some cool shit. Um, but yeah, the materials overall, it's okay. But I think you're getting it for the style of it. So I know people are saying that this is like the tobacco colorway and I can see that. I can see that definitely. Like it almost looks like a old school cigar, the dry tobacco leaves and stuff like that. But it definitely gives off a cool vibe, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think, which one of the three are your favorite. For me, again, the white and then the black and the tan are kind of tied. Part of me likes this one a little bit. I don't know. Part of me likes the black just a little bit more than uh, the Mace colorway, but this one is still a very solid pair for a lot of people who want a pair of low top Sambas for the summer uh, with good materials, etc. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.